<laughs> you and I, uh, we share African ancestry. Yeah. Yeah. I was shocked. Yeah, I'm 1.6 percent. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I have more. Uh, I have more credential than you in that department. <laughs> You're two percent, right? Yeah, I know. And it's it's funny because, uh, you know, you sort of have your the, the story in your family, kind of like where you came from, and yeah. everything made. And I always knew I was 25 percent, you know, Italian, uh, and I knew that my family came from Sicily. In fact, uh, the 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 Ranellas that came from Sicily all seem to become kind of established in the, in the produce world. Uh, my dad was brought up in the south side of Chicago. I'm 44 years old, okay? So think about that for a minute. My dad was brought up in the south side of Chicago, and he was raised by his grandfather, who was Sicilian and had come from Sicily. His grandfather delivered produce with a horse and cart Whoa. in Chicago. So... To have lived through that, like to be brought up in a house where a guy like leaves in the morning in a horse and cart to deliver produce and then to be alive, like to fight in World War II, to be through the atomic era, the advent of the internet, right? But I always knew that we had Sicilians. When I did the, the genetic test, some of the, at some point in time, one of those Sicilians must have shot southward and crossed the Mediterranean and like had a hookup down there or something. Well, that was the history of Sicily in the first place. Yeah. You know, the Sicily, just being Sicilian in the first place, there were so many people that were uh, impregnated by the Moors and by various people of West Africa and North Africa. Yeah. Yeah. It's fa- and yeah, I should have probably like always assumed, but it just, I hadn't thought about it. Um, another thing I was reading about this stuff, and you might know more about it than I do, is that when you do those tests, there's missing parts. You know, it does it, it like it captures what's there, but there's could be a lot there that's not captured, mm. just in the way that chromosomes are, you know, inherited and passed down. Like it's not, it's an incomplete picture, right? Right. There could be influences. There could there could be in your in it doesn't create a full picture of your lineage. There could be lineages that are there that aren't represented in your particular makeup. How so? Like, what do you mean? You know, I hate to right off the bat get into something that I can't speak about with any level of expertise. <laughs> I was just reading a piece, and the piece I was reading had to do, it was kind of a dissection of, like, what happened with Elizabeth Warren, when she claimed. We've been going off about that on the podcast, and I'm, like, 100 times more African than she is Native American. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I found. I'm 10 times more or whatever. But <laughs> it was a piece about – it was a, it was a piece in the Times – explaining like how to make sense of now that everyone's doing these tests like how to think about and make sense of these tests but but my understanding of it is um that you could have a lot of ancestry that just isn't captured in your genetic code in the way that would be detected through the testing meaning there could be ancestors that for what because you're inheriting half you know you're inheriting chromosomes from each parent and, and somehow you could have – it could be an incomplete picture. You could have ancestors that had come from other – you know, whatever these, these tests break out the world into 100 or some odd regions or zones, that there could be people from those zones who are in your lineage that are not captured in your personal – that are not captured in your genetic code. That's so bizarre. You would think it would all be in there. Is that just uh, an incomplete measuring tool? Is that what it is? Or is it just n- actually not in there? I don't know. You're mm-hmm. gonna have to have a dude on. Yeah, I'll, have to I'll have listen. A dude on. You need to have a dude on that understands <laughs> it. And as I say, I feel like I'm off on a bad start here, man. <laughs> How much uh, Neanderthal did it say? Yeah, less than normal. Really? Less than average. What was the uh, the number? Like it said, it gives you. You did 23 and me, right? Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, okay. I can't remember. I just remember it was less than average. And you know, and those things like are refined by how many people do them. You know. Mm-hmm. But it was less than average, which bummed me out. <laughs> but I'm like as hairy as like a 13 year old like Norwegian girl, you know what I mean? So it's, that didn't surprise Not me. Shocking. Didn't surprise yeah. me too much. Uh, 